The South Alabama Jaguars are here in Montgomery for the Camellia Bowl, the first bowl appearance ever in the program's short six-year history. Today, a lot of things happening here in the state capitol. Head coach Joey Jones talking to the members of the media along with some of his players and also a celebration rooting on the home team to bring home a victory. It's been a long time coming for the University of South Alabama. Now the time has finally come for a bowl game, the first ever for the program. The opponent, the Bowling Green Falcons, and the Jags have a full force of fan support coming to the game. When you've got a, a, a city and a university that supports our program like they do uh, in Mobile, uh, University of South Alabama, it really didn't surprise me we were going to sell it out. Um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of South Alabama fans in the stands, and uh, our players realize that, and it's going to make our players play any, even better. For us to sell out, I think that's a great, great thing. And uh, it's been good for the school. A lot of the students have been enjoying this time. Late in the season, the Jags became bowl eligible for the second season in a row, but not without a fight. And I think we deserve to be here. So in this uh, Texas State, that really taught us perseverance. Keep keep pushing, and we'll, we'll come out. We'll come uh, come out with the win. They're down on the five yard line with ten seconds left in the game, fourth and goal, and our defense makes a stop. So that's the difference between winning and losing. Everybody wants to end that season the right way, and us getting this bowl game and being able to play one more time with your brothers is is kind of is. Surreal. Tonight, a pep rally at Union Station in downtown Montgomery was held for the Jag Faithfuls. Several hundred gathered to cheer on the boys in the red, white, and blue. Now, when you've got a historical event like this, you're going to pull the fans out. You're going to pull them out for a win like we're going to have tomorrow night. It seems like yesterday we played Hardgrave at home in that first game. And, and the journey to get here today, there's, there's been so many memories. So many great people committed to make it work and work the right way that, that this is just a gift. This is something very special. It's awesome. First bowl game, part of history. Don't get any better than this. Coach Jones' biggest supporter, his wife, Elise, is elated about being in Montgomery. It's a dream come true. Uh, we never would have thought uh, our freshman uh, players six years ago would have ended up in a bowl. We're all looking forward to that wonderful game. Well, with some big games come some big responsibilities and also some big names like former Florida State head coach Bobby Bowden. Take a look here, addressing the players today. He was the guest speaker at today's luncheon. I've heard Coach Bowden speak before, and let me tell you, those guys had a great treat today. And here's a fact for you. Coach Bowden once recruited Joey Jones as a player before he went to Alabama. How about that? And while the Jags were up here, the South Alabama Board of Trustees visited the Montgomery Area Food Bank today. They were sorting dry goods for two hours, and you know their hard work will go to help those in need, especially during this Christmas season. So here's what you need to know. Tomorrow, the Jags versus the Falcons. Game time is set for 8:15 Central. It will be nationally televised, and we will have the highlights for you Sunday night on Fox 10 News. Also, if you can't watch the game, you can listen on Lightmix 99.9. I'll be giving you sideline reports along with live coverage of the game with the rest of the crew, and pregame coverage starts at 7:15 on Lightmix 99.9. Point nine. That does it for us tonight here in Montgomery at the Team Hotel. Tomorrow night we'll give you a look at the tailgating atmosphere at the Crampton Bowl. And then on Sunday night we'll have all those highlights for you that we promised on Fox 10 News. Reporting in Montgomery, Michael Brannon, Fox 10 News.